us, Lord, to be carefree, to be obedient to the word which says, cast all your care on him, for he cares for you. To live carefree, worry fear, worry free, fear free, anxiety free. Because we cast all our care on you, Lord, right now. We leave the world at the door in worship, Lord. We leave the world at the door. And what we don't leave on the door, Lord, we lay it on the altar right now. Every worry, every stress, every fear, every struggle, every infirmity, whatever is heavy on your heart right now, whatever is heavy on your mind right now, take that thing right now and lay it on the altar. And once you lay it on the altar, what do you do? Come on. What do you do? That's right. Say it together. Let go. Lay it on the altar. Let go and trust God. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the, yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong tower. In each of our lives, whose hand we never ever let go, we never ever let go of your unchanging hand. So right now, Father God, we say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, have your way, Lord. Have your way in every way. And right now, we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me. As you see fit for the kingdom. We inhale the breath of life. <sighs> Exhale. The word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. <sighs> Exhale, the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale, the word of God. Those who wait on the Lord gain strength oh yes Lord yes Lord we feel the weight lifting right now Lord as we continue to breathe in the breath of life and say our own scriptures right now Lord we feel the weight lifting keep breathing keep speaking the word keep speaking your favorite scripture right now inhale the breath of life Exhale your favorite scripture. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. And just say yes. Just say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I let go, Lord. I give you everything, Lord. I lift up everything in my life. Everyone in my life. Every situation, Lord. I let go right now. I give everything to Lord in prayer right now. I give everything, everything to Lord in prayer right now. And then trust. Let go and trust. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
The anointing is flowing right now. The anointing is flowing right now. Receive it. Whenever you come into God's presence, always remember to receive a fresh anointing for every day. We're under attack every day. So receive a fresh anointing every day in the presence of the Lord. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Receive it. Oh yes, Lord, I receive it, Lord. I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of of Jesus, I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of Jesus right now. Receive it. Anointing for victory, anointing for healing, provision, breakthrough, deliverance. Anointing for whatever it is you need to walk in victory right now. Receive it. And just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this anointing. Thank you, Jesus, for this anointing right now flowing through us. Oh, Lord, let the blood, Lord, let the blood of Jesus cover us right now, Lord, from head to foot. Let the blood of Jesus flow through our blood vessels right now. Healing, healing. Healing every diseased and diseased cell in our bodies right now. Receive that healing right now. Receive the anointed healing, the anointed breakthrough, the anointed victory you're praying for. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. I receive it right now, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Refresh. Refill. Oh, angelic vibes. Oh, fill it. Fill us, Lord. Fill us right now, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, let go, let go, let go. Let go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord.
bask in the afterglow. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Before we close, before we close, I know someone's watching right now for the first time or visiting for the first time who doesn't understand why this fellowship is always on fire, coming together six days a week, live or archived, just to praise and worship and fellowship together. But someone watching right now doesn't understand that kind of fellowship. So right now, I'm going into the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is the leader I respect for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening. And you've been here the whole time. And you heard the jazz. And you heard the, the sharing and the prayers. But right now you can't connect because right now your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turning away from you. Friends stabbing the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow you find yourself on this channel and have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and that's why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil is telling you once you leave God or fail God, you could never go back. And that right there is a lie for the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and then fell back into sin, there is nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ and there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So right now, if you're a backslider and you want to come back to it, or your life right now is filled with depression and darkness and hopelessness, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, either way, I want you to pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without living up to you first. Create me, Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is my right to see the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us when you're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you the people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday. Every day, spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life, which is... God let you know it's going to be all right. The next step is to repent. And repent means to change your ways from sinful ways to God's ways. And the more time you spend with God every day, the stronger the Holy Spirit gets in you. And before you know it, you'll turn away from those things you used to do in sin and seek God's will and God's way. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named unnamed, seen unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. 
And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy. Loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Restore. Restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please give a hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we'll be healed. And we confess, Lord, we confess it every day. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I believe I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. Every day, confess it and thank him. Confess it, thank him every day. Pray as if your life depends on it. P U S H. Pray until something happens. Loose, supernatural overflow, financial breakthrough, supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, it's your blessings, Lord. Your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on the fellowship, every financial need, whatever it is. For you to supply all our need according to your riches. In glory to Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want anything when the Lord is my shepherd. Now let's say let's let's say this part together, fellowship. Repeat after me. For I am the head, not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am blessed going in and blessed going out. I am blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall by any means hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know every day, we take time every day to see it. Visualize the miracle Every day, see it, believe it, and then receive it into your heart. As you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when, but because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day, could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep you family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face and about approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to. A blessing to everyone you pray for. A blessing to everyone you pass by. And blessed by the open mouth because of love and light and Lord is all over you 24 7, 365, including deep here. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. The fellowship say, Amen. 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 <music>